of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Yeah, so you can, they're not gonna lose their, they're not gonna lose their reward pretty much. Yeah, yeah how I share said, when the sun standing here, they're not gonna test death. Okay, so those, those are not gonna test death, they're not gonna prevent those that have tested death already, man. Because your house is going to bring them, it's going to come down with them. Okay, go ahead. And it says, For if we believe that Yahweh died and rose again, even so them also which, which sleep in Amashiach will Yahweh bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain <laughs> unto the coming of the Lord yes. shall not prevent them which are asleep. Yeah. For the Lord himself shall ascend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel. When those, yeah, when those chariots come, man, okay, the elect are gonna hear, they're gonna hear that shout. Okay, they're gonna understand when those chariots come, they're gonna hear that shout, and the time for our salvation is gonna be time. It's gonna be there now. Time for us to go up. Go ahead. And with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. So those that die in the Lord, those that die in the truth are gonna be raised up first. Alright, go ahead. And it says, 1 Thessalonians 4, 17, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So those of us, those, those of us that are going to be left alive in those times, but this is not going to get every single one of us, okay? There, there are going to be some that this is going to get just to fulfill the scriptures, but this is not going to get all of us. Man. Okay, some of us are still going to be walking the earth when that time counts. We're gonna see the chariots, okay, we're gonna be beamed up, okay, we're gonna see the destruction of the two thirds. Okay. Uh, go ahead. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. That's why now they say comfort each other with these words. But when that time when that time when that time comes, that's the kind of scripture is supposed to be given. Alright, okay, uh, that's the question. Revelation 6 verse 10. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of the Most High and for the testimony which they held. So there's going to be some of us that are going to get put to death for this testimony that we have. Alright? So when those things come, that, you know, that's why I keep saying, man, you got to think of these scriptures. Man. Okay, you might not have a Bible on you that time, okay, but then these words and this truth should be in your mind at that time. Man. Okay, because you've gone over it so many times. Okay, but so you're holding that faith that you had, that you know you did everything right for the heavenly father to have mercy on you, whether you are alive or in death. Go ahead. So he said, and, and they cry with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? Yeah, so as soon as you die, you go straight to the heavenly father. Alright? The two people are just gonna go to the they're gonna go to the, uh, to the spirit world and that's it man. They gotta wait to when you know when they're born here again. Alright, that's if those that die in the heavenly father, you're gonna go to the spirit world. You're gonna go to the spirit world to the heavenly father, man. It's like you know, you put your complaints up. How long left, Lord? Alright, go ahead. You see. And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet a, for a little season. Yeah. Until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. So that's why now our our our, our elders that were be, the elders that were before the apostles, the ones that have passed on, I man, this is what they're waiting for, man. Alright, they're waiting for everything else to be fulfilled and then they're gonna come back down with the Hawashai. Okay, the brothers that have died in this truth, that's what they're waiting for, man. For everything else to be fulfilled, then they're gonna come back down with the Hawashai. Right, is that right, man? I got, I got, I got script, man. Revelations 3 and 10 Because thou hast kept the word of my patience I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation Which shall come upon all the world To try them that dwell upon the earth And if you talk about that word is you break it down in uh, Patience uh, means what to suffer man. Right now every single, every single week goes by And you know the most has not bring that judgment on the earth man You know you, know, you gotta get up and go to work again for another week the bills are going to come for another month. 
all right? So now, but you know, at the end, but in the midst of all that, then we, we you know, we're keeping a, 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 and it says, because thou has kept the word of my patience, because you kept this true, go ahead. I would also keep thee from the hour of temptation. So now the Lord is going to keep us. Okay, when the chip, when the chip is uh, going to be put on the F, all right? When you can't eat without the chip, okay? Now I'm just going to the chip as well. Uh, the okay. Which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And the, the whole world means the planet F, okay? So you can't take a ticket uh, and uh, go to a different country to prevent yourself from getting that chip. Alright? That temptation will come upon everybody on the planet Earth. Okay? Don't go now, man. Okay, I'll let you Revelation 13, uh, verse 16. And it calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So that. So now, it's just say what? It causes everybody. Regardless how high up in the world you are, or how low in the world you are, okay, whether you're poor, you're rich, okay, and then through virus, especially that economic crash, you know, for you to keep your money, you're gonna have to get it through that via that chip. Okay, to access your bank account, whatever the hell they're gonna leave in there, they're gonna give you an option, okay, the only way is this chip. Okay, we're just waiting to see what's gonna happen, what's gonna cause all these things now to move that fast. Alright? Go ahead. Let's see. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his day. So it says that, that no man might buy or sell. Okay, but if there is no way this year that you can you can research about the RFID chip and not uh, connect that uh, to Revelation uh, 18 and 16. Okay? That no man should buy or sell. So that's gonna be the only the, the only form of buying and selling that's gonna be left in the planet Earth. Okay, just as much as because. I, I ran into a taxi driver, he told me he's not used cash in a long time. He's just used to, uh, to get his uh, bank out and pay for things. There's so many few times that you actually go take cash out to buy things. There's people that, uh, there's people that uh, use cash, they, uh, they say, uh, they, they go that, uh, they're paranoid. So what they do is they, they only uh, buy things, they take cash out, and then use the cash uh, transactions. But this one is got plans in place to take that away. Very soon, you can only gonna be use your bank card. But then that's easy for somebody just to steal off you. Alright? Because so remember one time, is it, uh, they were advertising on TV. If you go any kind of business at home, or you know, like you think, uh, you know, the street market, whatever, they were offering our free card readers. Before that time, for you to get a card reader was expensive. Do you know what I mean? It was expensive for you to get a card reader, and then every time you make a transaction, uh, they take a certain percent of the, trans the transaction that you make. That's why if you go into any shop, they tell you it's a five pound minimum. Five pound minimum or ten pound minimum. Because it was expensive to Now they put a law or they'll say uh, it's a 50p charge to yeah. use. Uh, because uh, the, the, the shop owners, what they were doing is they're putting that, uh, that cost on you. Now the government now has taken that away. You, 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 you no longer can charge uh, to make a card purchase. Okay, so now they're moving that slowly. Now people are now, you can now walk into a shop and just use your, your bank card freely now, any shop. Okay, and now the bank, they don't, uh, they don't, uh, they don't, uh, they don't take, they don't take any more money for any transaction that they make. Okay, so ESO slowly but surely is squeezing that, uh, that, uh, what you call that, uh, that digital uh, system uh, for the people. Okay, a lot of these people out here, man, the only way they, they use cash, like when the brother asks for money, like, I don't have to be next to the brother now. Just go on my phone and send the brother some money. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, just have a nice day. Don't come over here, man. Get out of here, man. Just get the fuck out of here, man. As always, man. Demons always gonna come and do their thing. Okay? Yeah, but slowly but surely, Iso is moving that, that cash system out. Okay? More and more people are that class, man. Huh? Uh, against the like And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. 
but it's the number of a man. And his number is 600, three score and six. So we know now that that basically is not talking about some, some, uh, some dragon-like creature that's gonna come out of the ocean and uh, start, start giving people uh, six, six, six tattoos on their forehead. Okay, it says it's a man. Okay, it's gonna cause all men, it's our ISO men. Okay, the elite of ISO. Okay, they wanna check everybody, man. Okay, even even in the churches, they're not confined to that's talking about the microchip. Okay, from the one that came in. Okay. So if you can't see if you can't see this either you've been ignorant to it or you're scared because you've been proud for so long and you're scared you're gonna lose your followers. And you know what it's more, right? Just to add just to back what the brother is saying. I see a lot of you guys out there, man, I think it's different al alphabetical camps out there. A lot of you don't want to believe in the chip. Because a lot of you just want to feed yourself to oblivion, man. All right, you, you, hey, you can't go a time without fasting, okay, or a couple of days. So all you, so I mean, if you that, if you that kind of spirit, where you gotta always put something in your body, hey, you, you ain't, you ain't a faithful individual, man. You really don't believe in the most high, and that's really, and that's really the main issue why you guys uh, teach that um, that the RFID is not the mark of the beast, man. And a lot of you guys are sold out too. Okay, but it don't really make a difference, man. At the end of the day, uh, what is it? The RFID microchip is the mark of the beast, and that's going to be mandated whether you believe it or not. And that's what I got to say on that. Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed him, saying with a loud voice. That's what you guys is it. gonna make at the end of the day, we're gonna end up come up with excuses. You wanna say that you didn't know? Okay? But a lot of you know though. You're gonna blame your teacher. You say your teachers told you like uh, your Hawashia is gonna accept that, that, uh, that excuse me. Okay, go ahead. If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive of his mark in his forehead or in his heart, in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine. And it says, the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image, and receive of his mark in his forehead or in his hand. See, it's going to say in his hand. Remember, the thing says in his right hand, but that's what he said in his hand. So it doesn't matter whether you get it in your left arm or your right arm, okay? You're going to get it in your toe, okay? It doesn't matter, man. If you accept that chip, you're done, man. So you know what that iOS is like? No, go on, finish what you're saying. Yeah, because iOS said, what happens if you, get, uh, if you get the chip? What's the judgment? You get the chip in your right or in your left hand or in your ass. You know, which that's disrespectful, man. Okay. And like the brother was saying, it, like, hey, it doesn't matter where you, where you put, where you get the chip at. But I'm gonna say this as well, right? Because see, when the chip comes in, right? And the chip is mandated, you know what's gonna happen, right? A lot of these guys that have been saying, oh, the, 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 the RFID chip ain't the mark of the beast. You know what's gonna happen? They're gonna come flocking to us for answers. That's what they're gonna start doing. But right now they're just talking shit because they don't want to believe that. They don't want to actually believe in that reality. Which it is a reality. Alright, no matter how you listen to me, man. It is what it is. Okay? Hey, I just want to you know, say that. Yeah, man. Okay, there, there won't be any excuse when that time comes, man. Okay? Because, huh. listen, man. The scripture said a time of trouble like there's never been. Like, absolute. There will be no way to trouble. There is no way for you to use your phone. <coughs> okay, for you to, to get anything. I don't know how many shops are going to be open during that time. Right. Okay, but whatever is, the, whatever is going to be limited, you're going to have to have a chip for you to eat. So, yes. so now you're literally going to have that just faith alone for the Heavenly Father yes. is the only thing that's going to be left. Okay, the very fact that you have faith in the Heavenly Father is the only thing that's going to be left. Okay, if you take a chip now, then tomorrow they'll still put you to death anyway, man. <laughs> Oh, but it doesn't mean like, you know, you take the chip and then you're going to have a nice cocktail. It just means you go weak. Okay? I guess I think. And it says, The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And in the presence of the elect, man, because we're gonna be uh, what's that scripture, man? Uh, Psalms, because we're gonna we're gonna see your destruction, man. Okay. Uh, Psalms 91. Uh, Ten thousand shall fall at the right hand. Yeah, he would. Yeah, Psalms 91 and uh, nine. Okay, 
because we're gonna see your destruction, man. Okay? You're gonna you're gonna kiss and miss out if you take that chip. Okay, whatever excuse that you're gonna have to check it. Okay? That's why right now he's here. That's what we always say, man. Right now you, you know you gotta get yourself ready in the spirit, man. Okay? There is not too much that you can do to get yourself ready physically. Okay, you can't join you can't join a UFC club or try and run as, as fast as the same boat. Okay, because none of those things are gonna save you. Yeah, whether, you whether you're gonna breathe and live another day, it's because, you have, it's because the Heavenly Father has allowed you to live and live another day. It's not him that will it or him that running. That's it, bro. Okay? Go back to Psalm 91 and 9. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. Okay, because you, you put your trust in the Heavenly Father right now, okay? You come to His truth, you put your faith in Him, and you believe. Oh, yeah. Come a little bit closer so they can walk past. And you truly sincerely believe, and you truly sincerely believe that at the end of the day, this is the only thing that's gonna save you. Go ahead. There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy okay. dwelling. Before that time comes, man, every single brother that comes into this thing, the Heavenly Father is gonna put them into their little trials. Okay? You can't just walk up to the camp and say, I believe, and that's the Heavenly Father that is gonna, 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 gonna uh, save you. Okay, the Lord will put you through different, uh, different uh, uh, scenarios, man, different tests to try your faith. Okay? This is one of the, this is one of the uh, trials of faith, man. Coming out here in the byways and are facing these elements out here, man. Okay, putting your life at risk. Okay, and you know what? And that's what it's really all about too. When, you, when you're doing this thing, man. Because I mean, it's it's one thing to learn the truth, but it's another thing to actually come out here and do and do the Father's will, man. All of this lolly gagging around and and, and uh, chair leading around and typing things. Hey, man, you know, and I'm really, speak, I'm really just speaking in the spirit because you got certain guys that have been watching for years. You got certain guys that have been watching this, this videos for, uh, what is it, four years, some say eight years, and they haven't stepped foot in that one camp. You understand? So a, a guy like that, he might as well just stop watching altogether because what's going to happen to that guy is he's going to be destroyed, man. That dude is going to be destroyed, man. All of, you, all of these different cheerleaders out there that have been cheerleading for years, they're going to be destroyed, man. Okay. And then about the, the way you, should, you prove that is when you ask them a simple question <coughs> and they can't answer. Because your first six months when you get so much of the basics, you know, like you might not know how to break it down in the scriptures, but you can say it all part, man. Okay? And all guys just give a simple question, they don't know. They just mean they just you know, they just there for entertainment. And it says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Okay, so the Lord is going to protect the angels. The angels are sent out to protect the elect. Okay, those that, those that choose the Heavenly Father. Man. Okay? Or more like those that the Heavenly Father put the Spirit to choose him. Go ahead. And it says, Oh, drop that. Uh, it says, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and Adder, and the lion, and the young lion, and the dragon shall be trampled under feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him, and will set him on high, because he hath known my name. Psalms 91 and 4 And he shall cover thee with his feathers And under his wings shalt thou trust yeah. His trust shall be thy shield and buckler Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night Nor for the arrow that flieth by day Yeah, so it's just saying well, we should not be afraid for the terror at night Nor the arrow that, that flieth by day The arrows are what? The nuclear missiles so we're not even afraid of the missiles. Even, even though we see them coming, we're not going to be afraid that time. Okay, because we understand that the Heavenly Father is going to protect us. Right. And it says, <laughs> Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. When those, when those, when those missiles do, uh, start to hit, okay, when, those, when, we, when, we, when we hear uh, the nuclear alert, you know, because you know, sometimes they announce them on the radio, on the radio Russia has fired a nuke. Okay. Right. And it says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, 
and 10,000 at thy right hand. So when we're in them ships, we're going to see the destruction of the people, the two-thirds. We see 10,000 people that will get put to death, another 10,000 that will get put to death. Okay, we're going to observe all those things. Okay, because we're going to be up, uh, what's that situation, uh, Revelation? Like the way John got buried up, we saw as if it was a sea of glass. Alright? But it shall not come near thee. Because of course we put our, our trust in the Heavenly Father, none of those things are going to come, uh, come near us. Okay? So when that time comes, man, okay, you know, it's, it's all about faith. Believing what you don't, believing what you have not seen. Okay? Believing that what you have done, that the Heavenly Father can do what you've prayed about you. Okay? Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. So we're gonna see all the destruction here. The Heavenly Father can just a first class seat. Yeah. Okay, to be able to see all those things. Alright? Alright, Revelation 15 verse 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues. When them is filled up the wrath of the most high. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that are going to victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name. Stand on the sea of glass, having the hearts of the Most High. Yeah, so we're gonna be the sea of glass represent that firmament. Alright? Because we're gonna be above it. Those that those, those of us that endure to the end, okay, whom the Lord uh, you know protect to the end. When that time comes, we're gonna be beamed up and we're gonna be in those chariots, and then it's gonna be first class and we're gonna be seeing all that destruction. Okay, that those they are those nuclear uh, the destruction of that for those nuclear missiles. Okay, uh, they are the of uh, Isaiah to me. All right, so we're gonna get a first class seat. It's not gonna be, you know, like in the time of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, the Lord said, Don't look back. Okay, by this time period, the Lord's gonna give us a first class seat to see the destruction. Man. Because we're gonna always talk about it at the end. Okay, when that time comes, you do not want to be on the planet Earth. It doesn't matter about you going to a different country, you just don't want to be on the planet Earth, period. Man. Right? The time is coming, they're gonna come run to us, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to talk about this one. You know what I'm saying? Well, they're just walking by here, looking nice and everything. And brothers, some brothers are single, man. We do with a woman, we just come in, innit? But anyway, it's not our time now. You know? Anyway, uh, we are a woman with a beast. I was actually talking. I'm gonna lie down with that beast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know? Sure, don't. You know what you're trying to drag it. Right, Isaiah 24 and 1. Behold, the Lord make of the earth empty. And make it waste. Yes, so that time, when that time comes, you don't have to be on the planet Earth. Okay, for the buildings and everything else, even when the missiles don't reach, the buildings they're gonna be shaking up. Okay, there'll be all kinds of earthquakes going on on the Earth. Okay, go ahead. And it says, Turn of it upside down and scatter it abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant. So with his master, as with the maid. So with his mistress, as with the buyer. So with the seller, as with the lender. So with the borrower, with the maker of the treasury, of the usury, sorry. So with the giver of the usury to him. So there'll be no, ex there'll be no exceptions in that time. Man. From the guy from the very top all the way to the bottom, man. They're all gonna be affected by this thing, okay? Go ahead. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled. For the Lord hath spoken this word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. 
The earth also is devoured under the inhabitants thereof. Yeah, because of all the wicked shit that they've done under the earth, beginning with this so-called uh, so white man, Esau. Okay? And these GMOs, okay, these rice that they put here, the feed that they do on the earth. Okay? It's literally almost impossible for you to drink, to go anywhere in the world and get clean water. Alright? Because they have transgressed the laws. Like Even the rain water is defiled, man, because they got chemicals in the air. So you cannot get rain water directly, man. Right. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, yes. broken the everlasting yes. covenant. The God you always yes. had it in your hands, okay? Yes. How to live. Okay, what to do in any situation. The God you always had that in your hands. The number one selling book in the world. Okay, but you completely changed every, change everything around. Okay, and broken every, every law in the Bible. Go ahead. Therefore, have the curse born. Therefore, have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. Mosiah is coming to bring that fire. Okay, uh, what's that? Malachi. Malachi 4. Okay. And they come and they shall burn as a boy. Alright? So the Mosiah is bringing that case of destruction. The new wine mourneth. The vine languisheth, all the merry hearted do sigh. Can I make a little point out? Or can I make a point about the. In back, in, in back. Plus, he's the herb guy. He's the herb guy. Make a point, make a point. The, um, the volcanoes are watching the live stream uh, in Hawaii. And you mentioned about the earth being defiled and the fire and all that being cleansed. It's interesting because when they're interviewing a lot of the victims of the of the volcano and the lava, it's a lot of a lot of them seem like look like Edomites, you know. And they're saying that the lava is coming out of nowhere into what they call them. We might say estates, big big houses, estates. And they're catching people while they're sleeping as well, man. And just devouring the houses, about a hundred a day, they're saying. So this thing is continue, continuous, and I'm watching it on live stream, you know, like some kind of, I'm getting entertained by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, and now they've got tomorrow one now. Yeah, Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, that's the one, that's the big one. But Guatemala, yeah, that's new. Uh, the other one was uh, Guatemala, it's sort of um, the chiroplastic. Yeah. Yeah, and people, people in ashes, some people got burnt alive too. And they're still recovering the bodies, yeah, a lot of bodies. Right, this is uh, Isaiah 24, 19. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. Can you imagine that, man? Can you imagine the whole planet earth shaking like that? Okay, can you imagine that? You don't want to be on the planet earth for that time. Okay. I'll show you some. Peter says, uh, in the book of Matthew 24, it says, men's heart fell in them for the fear of the things that are coming. You're just going to just drop and collapse when you can't believe in your mind. Okay? You, don't, you, you, you cannot imagine that those things are going to come in your lifetime. A lot of people, they like to say that, oh, no, no, in my lifetime. Okay? A lot of people don't believe that those things are going to come in their lifetime. They think it's a hundred years from now. Alright? When they are long gone. But all this generation, the how she said, this generation shall not pass until all these things come to pass. And it says, the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be moved like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall, not rise again. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine? That's why, you know, when, when, uh, when, when uh, we deliver at that time, the Lord is going to have to physically lift us up uh, from the earth. And then we're gonna see all that happening. Man. I don't know about you, but yeah, we're gonna praise him. Say we say we've hearts in our hands. Can you imagine being delivered? All right. Can you imagine that now you? Can you imagine that being that you're protected from those things? Man? That's what your faith has got you. All right. That's why. That's what faith really means, man. 
need we didn't get a phone call from the heavenly father say i'll remember you that day you know what i'm saying we all go for everything through the spirit and we had faith to do what we're doing so that the hopes that we are delivered in that time all right so from then now concerning the extra things get uh second and the extra and uh talking about the power pretty serious that's what we're talking about yeah so if you if you get that stuff right there and there's some other stuff you can get too so, second answer, nine and one. And he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand it, that is the very same time wherein the Most High will begin to visit the world which he made. And how do you measure the time diligently? Okay, by watching, man. Do okay, but watch what's going on all over the world. Stop. All right, Frank. you're seeing volcanoes all over the place. That's not for no reason. Okay, drink that. Not the Go ahead. Therefore, when thou shalt see earthquakes and uproar of the people in the world, thou shalt well understand that the Most High spoke of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And the reason why the Heavenly Father told, I believe, I came across that day, I just remember what it's in. The reason that the Lord tells us these things before is so that we know that that everything comes from Him. Okay, mm. these are His prophecies. Mm. All right. So He tells us all those things way before. So when it comes to pass, that we know so it's the Heavenly Father. Right. Yeah. Even so, yeah, give me those times so also the highest right have plain beginnings and wonders oh, and powerful yeah, works what it does is it heightens your and endings in effects and signs. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings of wonder and powerful works. So even though as even in the beginning as, uh, uh, as wonderful works, okay, a lot of things that, going on in my head. Um, and endings and effects and signs. So even uh, even the end has effect as signs and that effects and signs. Okay, go ahead. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Even so, the times also of the eyes have plain beginnings in wonder and of and powerful works and endings in effect and signs. So even even the ends, even the end as 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 effects, it has signs, okay, it has things for you to look at for so that you know that this is the end. Okay? So yeah, how shall I give, give us a whole list of things to look out for at the end? Okay? So that's how we know right now, like the fact that there's volcanoes all over the place, man. Last year, how many members sent you that uh the, the, the article that they have the, the amount uh, how much destruction worth? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Trillions, the billions, the billions, was yeah. 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 billions. Yeah. I believe it was three hundred billion. Something like that. Yeah. 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 Twenty seventeen had three hundred billion worth of destruction just from natural disasters. Man. Okay, that's plain science of the endings. Okay. Uh, go ahead. And it says, everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. So everyone that is saved is able to escape by his works. Not your works that you do physically, but the works that you do of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by faith, whereby ye have believed. So the faith and the works, which are which were saved, is not going to save us at that time. Okay? Shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land. The perils is, uh, is trouble, man. Trouble, danger, whatever you want to call it. Trouble, perils. <laughs> so it's preserved in some place. We shall be preserved from those uh, hard times that are coming. Okay, go ahead. Um, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see the salvation in my land and wear in my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So again, going back into that predestination. Okay. So with that, man, I'm gonna pass it on to another brother. Yeah, we don't, we don't. And it says, then 